We'll be starting in two minutes. One minute. Oh, that's so much better? so much better that we have an actual photographer here. Oh. Now, can you can you cut down the one low hanging branch here real quick? I'm teasing you. I asked you to cut down the branch. Oh. That's in the way. Thank you all for attending on Lucy Groundbreaking Event. My name is Yang Wen and I'll be the MC for today's event. We're going to have a handful of speakers and we'll be hearing from some of our distinguished guests and youths. After the comments and groundbreaking, we will have refreshment in the back. 
by our friends at Cathedral Kitchen, so please plan to stay for that. I am a Lucy graduate, a Lucy staff, and a Camden resident. I graduate in Rutgers University, Camden School of Business next month. I grew up in Vietnam. I came to America in 2008 without knowing a single sentence of English. I got involved with Lucy my freshman year of high school, which is 2013. Lucy helped improve my social life and academic tremendously. I got accepted into eight colleges with the help of college and career prep at Lucy Outreach. Without further ado, without further ado, please allow me to introduce Cindy Margraf, our board chair. talk very loudly because <laughs> I'm a light talker. Thanks, Jan. Welcome to our groundbreaking. Can you believe what's actually happening? We're so excited. My name is Cindy Margraf, as Jan said, and I am the board chair of Lucy. I've been involved with Lucy over eight years now, and this has been long in coming that we had been planning and we're so excited that today we'll actually have the groundbreaking for our new youth center. Um, we're thrilled that each of you came here. We have so many different uh, people that are so, part, so much part of Lucy and I want, want to acknowledge some of the people that have joined us today. So thanks to all of you for being here. First of all, we have some distinguished guests. We have our mayor, Victor um, Karsteppen. I said that wrong. You just told me how to say it. Car, star, fin. Our police chief, Gabe Rodriguez. And all of you who are generous donors, thank you so much because we couldn't be here today if it wasn't for you. We have our Lucy Board of Trustees. I want all of the Lucy Board of Trustees to please raise your hand. tonight so we thank you. Lucy staff and volunteers, you make Lucy what Lucy is so you raise your hands all the volunteers and staff. Thank you all to you as well. We also have the capital campaign committee members here tonight and those are the ones that are raising all the money for us to be able to build this building so we thank you also and we want you to raise your hands. Thank you all. But most importantly, I want to acknowledge some very special people in this group, and that includes the youth. Those are the shortest ones in the group out there, the little people. That's what we're doing this all for. We also have the grads. Our grads are considered those have, that have gone through the program. They have graduated, and they are either in college or in their career track, and they come back, and they either volunteer or they work here and it just shows that this is, program is full cycle. It goes from being part of the program to coming back and giving back. So we appreciate the grads coming back. And then, of course, the Lucy families. There's so many of you out, out there. You entrust your kids to come to Lucy, and we really appreciate that because uh, you are the support structure for, for us. So thank you all. Oh, this is such an exciting event. That is our next step in the Lucy journey. And it is a glorious day, and it's the perfect day for groundbreaking. So let's get this show on the road. Mayor, he's going to say a few words, so thank you. Beautiful day, a beautiful day. It's so good to see. The energy and feel the energy out here has been a tough year for us, but I can see and feel all the great people here as part of this organization. So welcome to the day. It's a great day for the city of Camden. I first want to start by recognizing today's speakers and distinguished guests that are here. Uh, the CCPD Chief, Gabe Rodriguez, Walter Lynch, Pepe Piperino, Christian Penn, who I just met, Executive Director of Lucy, the Lucy board members, staff and volunteers, and those donors who helped to make this organization flourish. 
I've only been a, the mayor of our city for a week, but I, I'm a longtime resident and I truly understand what it means to help our youth and the impact it makes to give back to our youth. And Lucy Outreach, you are making our Camden community a much better community by the things you're doing and giving back to our community. Throughout my career, I've had been fortunate to work with a lot of youth and help improve their lives and ultimately help build their future leaders. I've been involved with coaching. I've been involved with after school programs. So I understand what the big give back is. I understand what, how building foundations for our youth. And you guys are doing an awesome, awesome job in that respect for our community. So I'm particularly sensitive to the importance of this 10,000 square foot expansion. Let's give a round of applause for that. A this expanded capacity means that you'll be able to touch more young people and they will be served in an outstanding way by Lucy. And our Camden families will benefit from the critical educational and social support. I commend Lucy on your success and ability to grow future leaders in our community. We're fortunate as a city to have an organization like Lucy. Partnerships mean everything. I talk about this all the time. Every organization plays a big part in our community. And I can see by talking with some of the members, by talking to everyone involved with this organization, how big of an impact you're making with our community. This includes support from major corporations to individuals, all who believe our Camden youth and do not give up on our young people. We have, again, I mentioned Pepe Pepperon, Pepper, Pepper, Pepino. Did I say that right? I get that. I, I messed that up like most people mess my last day, but <laughs> a, former, a former Camden youth of the Dominica Foundation, Dave and Jane Hummel of the Hummingbird Foundation, our home and enterprises, American Water, who I've gotten a chance to get to, get to know, and they do an outstanding job within our community outreach. Hayden, Haydinger Family of First Montgomery Group, Ann and Mark Baeda, the board chair, Cindy Margraf, and many more. Again, I want to commend Kristen and her staff and the entire Lucy organization for their efforts to develop future business owners, college graduates, nurses, teachers, community advocates, social workers, police officers, and incredible leaders who are helping to improve the quality of life. This means a lot to me. It warms my heart when I come out to our community and I see so many individuals coming together for one common call. And that common call is our youth. The youth that are here today, one day, you're going to do the big give back. You're going to come back. You're going to remember those who gave so much to you. And that foundation will allow you to come back and give so much to those that's coming behind you. So you should give yourself a round of applause for everyone that's here today. And if, if you haven't realized this, I come from a coaching background in sports. So I love to get everybody up and excited. <laughs> so thank you. I appreciate this. It's an honor. I'm humbled to be here today. Continue doing the great and providing the, the great services in our community. I cannot wait till this, this expansion is up so we can come back and enjoy what you're doing furthermore in our community. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Mayor Christopher. That was, that was touching. Uh, now I'd like to introduce Walter and so many American water leaders here with us today. American water truly illustrate the importance of community partnerships, and y'all have been extremely instrumental in Lucy gro growth and success over the past three years. So thank you. Under Walter's leadership, American water continues to demonstrate what it means to show up for his community 
and to roll up their sleeves and tackle challenges with its nonprofit partners, not for them, and how seamlessly communities and the private sectors can work together through a collaborative partnership that benefits and engages both the local resident and employees within the workplace community. I would now like to introduce and welcome Walter Lynch, the CEO of American Water. Hello, everyone. What a beautiful day, isn't it? I mean, Christine did a great job ordering this weather. So I'm Walter Lynch, President and CEO of American Water. I'm excited to be here today representing American Water. We love this town. Uh, we love to be here with all the communities, as the mayor said, and playing a vital role in the revitalization of Camden. For the past three years, American Water has been proud to call Camden our home. Although our headquarters is new, American Water's commitment to Camden goes back many, many years. For over 125 years, New Jersey American has been providing water services for so many residents in the Camden community, and since 2016, we've been operating the water and wastewater services here for the rest of the Camden residents. Um, we're so proud to be providing this service. This past year, I'm really proud to say that we've donated almost $1 million to various organizations in the Camden community, including Lucy Outreach, which we see as just a tremendous way to get back to the community. We developed a great partnership, I think, with our friends here at uh, Lucy Outreach, and, and Kristen and her team do a tremendous job. This began back in 2018, and for the American Water employees that were here, we broke our back helping restore this building <laughs> and clearing the lot across the street, and we had a great time. And it was just a great way for us to give back to the community. Today is a huge milestone, I think, for, for the city of Camden and the Camden community. American Water is proud to support the expansion of Lucy Outreach and the new youth center. This is just going to be great. It's going to expand just the services that Lucy Outreach can do for the Camden youth. Camden is on the rise. As the mayor, I know you believe and we're seeing with vibrant businesses, a lot of growing job opportunities for its residents. And Again, we're proud to play a role here in, in the Camden community. Businesses, organizations, elected leaders are all working together to make sure that we have a, a really bright future for the children here and throughout the Camden community. So again, American Water is proud to be part of this community. We're proud to call Camden home, and we're just privileged to be here today playing a role in the revitalization and the expansion of Lucy Outreach. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Walter for being here and for all that you do. With that being said, I'd like to introduce two of our youth, Cesar and Siani. I work with them for the past year, every single day, and these two impressed me with how their leadership abilities grew over the past year, so come to the, come to the stage. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, and thank you for and thank you for spending this beautiful day here with us at Lucy. My name is Cesar Cornejo, and I'm a sophomore in high school, attending Crystal Ray in Philadelphia. Oh, attending Crystal Ray in Philadelphia. I have six siblings. Five are attending Lucy. I have one sibling that goes to Lucy Rose. Three are for a youth, and one is a grad. Uh, and my little sister, she's still, you know, she's still too young to attend, but hopefully she'll be, you know, a part of this, you know, beautiful, amazing and loving family that we call, you know, Lucy, a home. Um, as you know, today is when we take the first step to building the new Lucy Youth Center. This is great news for the community as a whole and for youth like me and Tiani, because it will give us a place to, to make a second home and a safe place so that we can hang out, have a great time, and be ourselves without the judgment. I first joined Lucy six years ago, and seeing the program develop into what it has become now, today, is honestly aston uh, ast astonishing. astonishing. We first started in the basement of a church building, uh, then the conference room at Virtua, 
and now we have this current ho house and a new building coming our way, which is fantastic, uh, to say the least. At this point in time, Lucy feels like a second home to me. Uh, with going to overnight trips, uh, with making new friendships, and having a great moral support system, it's, it, it's one of the best feelings that you can have coming here at Lucy. One of my favorite memories with Lucy is when we went skiing as, as, um, as a trip uh, up to the Pocono Mountains. And it was the first time that I ever did a sport like that, which was very nerve-wracking, having all that adrenaline rushing through your body and that cold snow, you know, just hitting your face. Uh, but you don't have a care in the world. I remember going up, I remember going up the ski lift and I, and I was seeing one of the participants trying to execute a stunt, uh, but they failed. But they still got up, laughed it off, and went, our, went, went on with their way with the new, um, with their partners and with the youth, which every time I think about that trip, I think about that moment, which makes me smile. As you may know, the COVID pandemic has put a lot of families under great stress and has made an impact on their way of living. My family is no different. Thankfully, Lucy was there every step of the way, helping with food supplies, um, dropping off games for, so that the little ones can have you know, entertainment while they were stuck inside, uh, helping with um, family uh, rent and bills, and providing more support when there was a crisis or a loss. This is home for me, especially because at the, start, at, at the start of the pandemic, my family has started to have some family issues uh, with, with my dad and his, his alcohol, alcohol, his alcohol abuse, um, and with having trouble with paying the rent, and you know, with the COVID pandemic, losing my, um, my mom losing her job because she got sick at, at one point, it was a great stress for my siblings and for my mom and for me since we didn't have um, a way of income but thankfully Lucy was there every step of the way uh, dropping off games, uh, dropping off food um, even dropping off some food for the Thanksgiving holidays it, it was honestly great um, a favorite memory uh, in Lucy uh, with, a, with the ongoing topic of a family is when they were dropping off Thanksgiving dinners, like I said. Uh, they were just waiting at the door uh, with this huge meal so that, you know, they can give to families. They were just waiting on the porch or the doorway and, and once you open the door, they just screamed, Happy Thanksgiving! and all, all that cheering. But it was only like two, um, two youth interns or, you know, it, it, it was like Kristen or like two adults. But even with that, you got that sense of joy and that sense of hope, even in the middle of a pandemic, which, you know, to have Lucy be a part of our lives and us being a part with them, it's, 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 it's I don't know, it's, it's no words. I, I have no words for it. Um, but as you can hear, Lucy is a home for me and a home for many youths here at uh, attending Lucy and many more who are going to join and us being a part of their lives is just great thank you oh. thank, you. thank you for the donors grants and many more people putting their energy into this new building for, so that the youth of Camden can have a better and brighter future I can speak for myself and for my fellow youth that we will become and learn how to be incredible leaders and give back to the city of Camden and the next generation to come as a Lucy family. Thank you. for sharing Caesar. Hi everyone, my name is Siani and I am 14. I currently go to Caddo right around the corner. And this week we went back in person. I'm about to graduate next month and I'm applying an interview with high schools right now including Mastery, Urban Promise, and Big Picture Academy. 
I have three siblings, Elisa, Freddie, and Jalexi. And as most of y'all know, I live with my grandma. A few years ago, I was taking care of them throughout Camden and New York City while my mom and dad were struggling with addiction. Going through all of that, I was really struggling with personal things as a child, like traumas to the point where I wasn't okay with myself. And that was until I found Lucy almost two years ago. Everyone here helped me to become a better me, and they taught me that you can overcome anything in life with love and the support of others. When I first got to Lucy, I was angry, shut down, and I had so many responsibilities on me to the point where I felt like if I were an adult. Lucy became a safe place where I could be a kid again, have fun with the youth, make new friends, and become a great leader. I have a lot of favorite memories, but this one I always bring up, it's the night where we got stuck on Sunday for bike rides on Sunday, if that makes sense. So Miss Marlene and Christian gave us 30 minutes to explore in Philly, but me and my crew, we um, did more than 30 minutes. We took like an hour and a half and we missed the bridge and we couldn't go back. So Jan and Miss Marlene had to get the van from Lucy and they had to go all the way back to Philly to pick us up. <laughs> it ended up being my favorite night. We sat on the, me, Christian, and others sat on the sidewalk eating Chinese food and talking about personal things going on in our lives, whether it was from family to crushes to all the things we have in common with each other that we never talked about. When the pandemic started, it was a big hit for me, but not only for me, but for everyone at Lucy also. We never thought we would see the day where Lucy would have to shut down for a couple of months to the point where it had to be virtual. And it was so stressful because we were now virtual for school and Lucy. So as time went by, Lucy opened in a safer and better way. They helped the lots of families, including mine, to move into a new home, and they were always there for us, showing up with the bands at our homes to talk, dance, or just hanging out to make sure we were okay. And I thank Lucy for that. I never felt alone during that scary time. Now here today, and the new building that is on its way, I feel as though that Lucy needs this building because there's a whole lot more youth to come that needs this space, like I did. It, it will also be interesting to have new rooms and more space that we're not used to seeing very often. We need this because we're going to be so, cause, because there's going, to ha there's going to be so much more planned out for us and lots of excitement and new experiences. I hope to be a high school looter leader, setting a great example, recruiting new youth, and helping staff with the littles a lot. Please be a part of this exciting new change. Donate, volunteer, help us paint, and decorate. If I learn one thing, being part of Lucy, it's that it takes a village, and our village is the best. Thank you. Thank you, Siani and Caesar. That was that was very touching. Um, most of you here know our next guest, Pepe Paperno, a former Camden's youth who has always remained very involved with the city of Camden. Pepe never forgot where he came from and is always willing to get involved and lead by example. Our relationship with Pepe dates back to the early years at St. Joseph Pro Cathedral and his friendship with Father Bob. Together, they began a scholarship fund to support Camden scholars wanting to attend Camden Catholic High School. Many of my friends and fellow Lucy youth were recipients of these high school scholarships. Today, Paper provides 80 plus scholarships per year for Camden scholars to attend Catholic High School, 
through Catholic Partnership School. Pippa has stepped up in the big ways for this campaign on our new youth center, and we are so grateful. This expansion will not be possible without your generosity. So please welcome Pippa Pippa. everyone. Um, the Lucy Outreach Program has been a great supporter of the Domenica Foundation Scholars. Uh, they've been able to help the children find their way and a path to success. And my daughter and I are amazed how wonderful a job they have done to help the kids find their dreams and make them a reality. We've been doing work in the city of Camden for 30 years, and our community scholars has had out about the 25th year that we started it. And I learned a long time ago that in every child, there is a genius. But unfortunately, in so many of our cities across the country, especially in the inner cities, it's not discovered. It's not, it's not looked for sometimes. But here, Kristen and her staff make sure that they find that genius in every child and they embrace it they encourage it they develop it and the children become what they can what the best that they can be so today it's not an investment in a building it's an investment in an opportunity it's an investment in changing lives it's an investment in the path that allows the the, the chain of poverty to be broken. So I thank everyone who's come here to help the support of this great organization. Kristen and I share a great mentor, and that's Father Bob McDermott. He was a guardian angel for me, and he showed me about giving back and what responsibility is. And I know he's upstairs smiling on you, Kristen, of the great job you did. And Kristen, your journey is just beginning. This concept works so well, we have to find a way how we build more Lucy Centers throughout the city of Camden. Because it is the real meaning of never leaving a child behind. So I thank you again for your support of this organization. I continue to support. These kids will make you proud. Thank you. for those wonderful words. Last but not least, I'd like to introduce our fearless leader, Kristen Prim. I first met Kristen in my freshman year of high school and she, she welcomed me with open arms and guided me through the journey of life. I can talk about the impact she had on me all day, but I'm sure we all know what she's about. So please welcome Kristen. Thanks, Jan. How's everybody doing? Woo! I'm loving looking out and seeing all the Lucy red masks. So definitely grab your mask and your Lucy gear, your swag and t-shirts. How about the beautiful weather today? Peppy is right. We have a few guardian angels looking down on us. Certainly Father Bob is one of them. Um, but the weather just reminds me of our youth. Bright, vibrant, warm. A thanks to each of you for being here, and a special thanks to our staff, our board, and especially Chris Corwin for going above and beyond to put this event together. Pretty tight timeline between the audit, the GC bids, the spring event, and now the groundbreaking. It's been a crazy month, but we appreciate Chris, the board, and the staff, and everyone that went above and beyond. Um, to, all of our, to all of our leaders here, all of our leaders, supporters, we couldn't do this without you, period, as the youth would say. Supporters are the best supporters. You don't just cut a check, you show up, you roll up your sleeves, you walk with us when it's messy, when it's hard, when we're struggling, and this year was obviously one of the hardest years for all of us. 
Today you are all witnessing history, the breaking of ground on our forever home, and the first time that I actually have talking points in a speech, <laughs> which we all know I'm infamous for winging it. I'm too, too tired to do that today. This truly is a dream realized, um, and a dream delayed many, many, many times. This vision started um, with an angel priest in a parking lot 14 years ago. And when I say it took a village, I mean a whole bleep village. <laughs> it's been the greatest honor of my life to be on this journey, but even more of an honor has been witnessing the profound impact that Lucy has on the youth in the city and continues to every day. We can talk all day about a state-of-the-art 10,000 square foot building and getting better IT and the positive impact and dramatic um, increase of youth that we'll be able to serve. But to me, um, what is most important and most inspiring are all of the leaders that are coming out of this program. And that's a theme that we've heard from the last few speakers. Um, there's so much greatness here at Lucy and in the city, and we see it with each and every one of our youth every day. A um, couple examples, just this past week, when I can't sleep at night, I'm scrolling on my phone, so I'm looking through Instagram and Facebook, and this senior in high school class, the class of 2018, was our largest senior class, 57 seniors, and Every single one of our college-bound seniors in that class is graduating this week, next week. I mean, every day when I go on, more pictures are coming up. We're talking degrees in nursing, education, pre-law, pre-med, chemistry, business, finance, engineering, social work. Um, these Lucy grads are the next generation and they're paving the way and I cannot wait for the day that they put me out of a job because that's what we started um, years ago and that's what we're trying to do here. Thank you. So a couple of fun facts. We might have some numbers people in the audience. Since 2019, 68 um, of our Lucy grads have graduated from a four-year college. 19 are nurses in Camden City and Camden County. Nine have gone on to get their master's, one PhD. Seven are teachers in the Camden City School District. Six working as community activists. Five social workers in the city. Five police officers with Camden County Police Department. Four graduates started small businesses in the city. Three open restaurants, and my favorite, eight have their ten children in the Lucy Littles program. They started as teens 14 years ago. Now they're sending their children back to Lucy. Between last summer and this summer, 16 Lucy staff um, are graduates of the program. We have four year-round staff, four of our five program staff our graduates of the program. The youth are finally seeing themselves in the staff and that's what we're working towards. Representation matters to our youth. Um, so we're gonna continue to invest in Camden's young leaders. They're kicking ass and they're gonna continue to. I'm gonna close with the shameless plea, of course. The budget is increasing by the day. This is a terrible time to build. Construction costs, lumber, materials are doubled, some have tripled. Please consider giving generously. It's just a one-time give and it's going to make a huge impact. Help us to get the building up and running. Um, hopefully by the beginning of 2022, we're set to uh, start on the shell this summer. So we're really excited to watch that. Thank you all for walking with us. We love and appreciate every single one of you. So, before we get into this amazing food that Cathedral Kitchen has provided for us, and quite a few bottles of wine and cans of beer and bottles of water for the heat, uh, we do want to call up um, some of our incredible 
donors who have made a huge impact. We're at 1.8 of our 2.8 million and the campaign is officially going public today. So if I could call up Pepe Paperno, Cindy Margraf, Jane and Dave Hummel, Walter from American Water, um, Mayor Vic, we'd love to have you come up, Joan and Will Abel, CHPRD, Sara Pina, Brenda from Holman, and myself and Cindy will join you all. We are going to throw on our helmets for a photo. You will not all have to stand here for a photo shoot, don't worry. We're going to take one quick picture and the rest we'll take when you all are enjoying your time in the backyard. So if everybody can grab a shovel and a helmet, we would love for you all to live stream, to take a picture, to take a video, share to your social media. We are going to dig a very small patch because this part of the land is very hard. Yikes. Can you grab that cow? announcement before we send you all to the back for some party. Um, Dave and Jane Hummel, our friends here in the center, have uh, given us the challenge of a $250,000 match. So starting now, we are looking to match. They will match up to $250,000 between today and July. So please help us reach that goal. And let's... Let's pop some bottles and have some fun. Thank you, everybody. Thank you all for joining us. Please join us around the back for some refreshment and meet our youth, staff, board, and the donors. Enjoy your evening. Can the board donors and staff stay over here for pictures, please? Board, staffs, and donors. This side, this side. Yeah, board, staff, and donors.